We've been asking our viewers if they had any questions, any problems with their golf games. Got a great one from Don Roma um, about thinning bunker shots. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about our goal in bunker shots. What we're trying to do is really sort of take out a rectangle of sand two inches behind the ball or so. So it's actually the in only intentional fat shot that you get to play in golf uh, that works out well for you. So well, the idea is I'm going to impact into this sand, take this whole little rectangle out, so the ball is actually coming out through the momentum of the club head driving uh, into the sand. So what we're going to do, let me just show you one, and we'll talk a little bit about thin shots, which was Don's problem. Weight stacked nice and left, all right? Once it starts there, it stays there and the shot is really guided with sort of arm swing and wrist set, all right? So we're going to make this swing a little bit more V-shaped, not so U-shaped, a little bit more V-shaped by getting a bit more angle through setting the wrists. I'll show you one and we can talk about a drill. So always in the bunker shots, don't want to sort of start with a square face and then tr tr try to sort of twist your forearm to open it up. Just set it open a little bit, pop it into your hands, and that gives you a little bit more bounce, a little bit more loft. Going to get a nice high shot from that. So down into your knees, really stable base. It's arms and wrists. And a nice high controlled shot there. So let's talk about an exercise that you can do. If I just draw a line in the sand here, what I'm going to do, if I put one ball down, <laughs> just about two inches ahead of that line, I want to be able to deliver the club head into the sand really precisely. So the temptation is with the ball sitting down in the sand, you've got a, maybe a big lip on the bunker. And the mistake is that as you're coming into the ball, you fall backwards. You sort of let your weight shift back to your right foot. That makes left shoulder high, right shoulder low. You ground out too early. The club rises, hits into the equator of the ball, and it goes shooting off uh, into the distance. Fatal error. So. Up onto that left side, going to stay there. And just to practice to see you can hit really precisely uh, onto that line. If you can do that with the same rules, just think about your point in the sand. It's with the wrists and arms. guaranteed to get you out. So you're always looking to create the same divot in the sand and then you're just applying more or less speed for more or less distance. So I hope that that tip will help you out.